Do you ever struggle to get motivated to get yourself off your ass and go to the gym? Do you ever say, God, I wish I just liked working out? Or I wish I had more motivation so that I could do the thing that I've always wanted to do. Today, I'm gonna to tell you exactly why motivation is terrible. And if you are relying on motivation, you've already lost the battle. It's that I just don't care. Don't, don't care? It's a problem of motivation, all right? Hey, I'm Steve Kim, rebel leader and goofball from nerdfitness.com. And I'm gonna to talk to you about our fickle friend, motivation. Look, I get it, motivation can be cool. In fact, you might watch this video and get motivated to make a change in your life. Now, the problem with motivation is that it's fleeting. Whenever you watch like the Rocky training video from Rocky IV, or you watch this amazing video of somebody doing some great strength training move, or you get inspired from watching a movie like uh, Whiplash to wanna play a musical instrument again. Motivation can get you started, but motivation is like your fickle friend that abandons you at the least opportune time. So they're like, hey man, I would love to hang out this weekend. You're like, oh dude, that's so cool. Like, let's, let's absolutely hang out. This sounds like fun. And then like the day before it goes by and your friend sends you a text and is like, Oh, hey, man, like, totally hope we can still hang out tomorrow. Uh, I'll let you know when I wake up. And you're like, dude, like, I already made plans, and we're going to hang out because that's what human beings do. Like, you just make plans, and then you do the thing that you plan to do. So then you wake up the next day, and your friend's like, oh, hey, I'll text you this afternoon. Hopefully, we can still make it. And then afternoon, you get this that nonsense text from them that says, sorry, dude, can't make it tonight. Busy. LOL. See you later. And you're like, why couldn't you have just told me that like earlier in the week and I would have made different plans? Huh. Motivation is that friend. Motivation is there at the beginning and motivation is what gets you to the gym and you're like, I'm motivated. It's January 1st and I'm gonna get in shape and I'm gonna write a novel and I'm gonna floss every day and I'm gonna build a robot and I'm gonna travel and I'm gonna stop smoking and do other things and blah, blah, blah. And you have this whole list of things that you're gonna do. A few days go by and you're motivated less and less and your motivation starts to wane and then you get sick or work gets busy or your kid comes home early from school and because you're relying on motivation like I just don't have the motivation today I'm not gonna do the thing and bam just like that three weeks later all that motivation you had and all this instant early success you had is immediately gone and you're right back to square one beating yourself up saying I wish I just had motivation like those other people that can stick with the gym. Yourself. 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 Here's a little secret. Motivation sucks. Yes, it's like, motivation is like a Michael Bay movie. It's all flash and no substance. So it might get you off your ass the first time, but if you rely on it, you're gonna be disappointed. So instead of relying on motivation, Cultivate discipline. That was one of the best quotes I've ever seen. I saw it on Cura, Quora. I don't actually know how to pronounce that word. I think it's Cura. I don't know, whatever. Whatever it's called, somebody leave a comment and tell me how you actually pronounce that. The comment essentially said, somebody was saying like, oh, I wish I had time to practice and play the violin more, but I'm just not motivated. How do you guys get motivated to practice your musical instruments more often? And the best response was somebody that said, dude, f motivation cultivate discipline. And my eyes got real big. I was like, this is the key to everything. If you want to get in shape, if you want to write a book, if you want to practice music more, motivation is not the answer. It's discipline. Systems, systems, systems. You need to build systems into your life and you need to set the barrier to entry or the barrier to completing that task that you need to do so low, you need to surround yourself with the right people and you need to put these systems in place so that you are not reliant on one ounce of motivation. It's easy to work out when you're motivated. What's not easy is working out when it's the last thing that you wanna do, but those are the days when you make changes. I struggled for months to get started on my book. I signed a book deal back in, I wanna say June of 2013. Nope, 
June 2014. There we go. June of 2014. And I was given nine months to write my book. Four months in, I was still not motivated to start writing my book. Mostly because I was terrified to start. It was such a daunting task that I couldn't get myself to do it. Instead of waiting for motivation to strike, instead I've made sure that motivation struck every morning at 7 a.m. Instead of having to get motivated to write a book, I set a goal. I had to write 500 words every day, no questions asked. No excuses, no bullshit, just 500 words every weekday morning. And it didn't matter if those words were terrible. It didn't matter if they were even about the book, but I had to open the document where my book was and start writing and I had to write 500 words. I blocked the internet. I told everybody on Team Nerd Fitness not to talk to me. And I just focused on that one task at hand. I cultivated discipline and built systems so that I had to write 500 words at a time. And sure enough, on many mornings, although I got 300, 400, 500 words in, I was ready to stop. Other mornings, I ended up writing 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 words because even though I wasn't motivated when I started writing, by the time I got started and got warmed up, new ideas started flowing and the words leapt off my fingers into the keyboard and onto the book. And after four months of not writing a word, I ended up writing almost twice as many words as I needed to turn in for my first manuscript within three months. Because I stopped relying on motivation, I knew it was useless, and instead focused on cultivating discipline and built systems in my life to make it happen. So if you're somebody that struggles to get motivated to exercise, stop relying on motivation. Instead, schedule your workouts in your calendar. Give $500 to one of your friends or roommates, and every time you skip a workout, and they will call you on it, they will donate $50 of your hard-earned money to a political cause that you can't stand. Oh, jeez. Have a friend that you meet at the gym ahead of time. Prepay for personal trainer sessions, so you have to show up because you've already spent the money on it. Whatever you need to do to make it so that you absolutely have to go to the gym or have to do your workout at home, or go for your walk, or start your novel, or work on your business, or save up money to travel to Mars with Elon Musk, or do whatever it is that you need to do, stop making it about motivation. Build systems. Now, I wanna hear from you. How can you build a system in your life to get you to do the thing that you have always said you wish you were more motivated to do? Thanks for putting up with me. I'll see you in the rebellion.